Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you joined me today for this uh, little video. We are going to be talking about how to do Easter eggs without having to hard boil any eggs and without needing any Easter dyes. So many of us uh, with the social distancing are not able to go to the store and get eggs and we don't want to use up all the eggs we have on making them hard boiled. And um, we also maybe didn't get a chance to buy any of those dyes that we're used to for coloring Easter eggs. So I want to show you some simple ways to do it without needing to hard boil and without needing to have dyes. I don't have any extra eggs today, so I can't show you step by step how I did this. But the first thing I do is I take a needle or a toothpick and I poke a hole in the bottom of the egg and I stick that toothpick down and I jab it around and try to kind of scramble the egg a little bit. Sometimes I put my finger over the hole and shake it back and forth to try to scramble it around. Then I'm going to take my Tupperware container and I'll put the hole facing down and tap, 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 tap on the egg. Sometimes it takes a long time. You have to be kind of patient, right? Or go back in with the toothpick and jiggle it around a little bit more. Tap it out until all that egg drains out into your Tupperware container. You can drain as many eggs as you want to decorate. And then you just put that in your fridge and you have it for making scrambled eggs in the morning or adding to your recipes that need eggs. So then I rinse it out really well with water as well as I can. Fill it with water, dump it out again, fill it with water, dump it out again a few times, dry it off, and I usually leave it overnight to dry so that I have a nice dry surface before I start drawing on it. I have just used um, on this one a Sharpie and I colored in the wings with some uh, red watercolor. These others, you know, just I like you can color the whole egg with watercolor different colors or a solid color. Let it dry well before you start writing on it or drawing on it. Um, and draw anything you want on it. Just a series of stripes and color them in with different colors. If you like to do mandalas or detailed designs, do a nice big design over the whole egg and then come back and paint it either all one color or with lots of different colors. Um, whatever pictures you like to draw, this I just copied from a Peeps box you know, with the little bunny rabbit and the brand name, um, birds, whatever. This camera that I'm using, unfortunately, today doesn't get colors well. So this green looks kind of grayish green. But um, anyway, you can do them as vibrant colors as you want. You could even uh, color things in with just with your highlighters, highlighter pens. The great thing about doing this is that you can keep these for years. They are a little bit fragile, but not terribly. Um, I kept these from last year in a Ziploc baggie with just with the grass in it. Um, and so they, they held up quite nicely. If you're you know, hard on them, they will crunch and crackle and break, but um, that you can save them. So the great thing is you can draw, you can write your child's name and their age or the date they did them. And then you can keep these as keepsakes for years to come for your Easter baskets in the future. Today, we're gonna to draw some ladybugs and I'm just gonna go through how to do the ladybugs using paper and pencil and pen. We're gonna go over how we do that. So basically, I'm gonna start just with making a big oval or a circle. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be perfect in any way, just roundish, oval, whatever you wanna do. At the top here, I'm gonna draw a little hyphen across, just a little line, and an upside down U or a half circle like that. And on top of that, I'm gonna write the letter V. And I'm gonna put a dot at the end of each line. Then I'm going to come here in the middle and I'm going to draw down the center about halfway and then I'm going to curve it to the left, come back up there, curve it to the right. Okay, and I'm going to give him some spots. There may be little ones and big ones, however you want to put his spots on. And then in the back, I'm going to do a trail. So I'm going to go do a line down and then curve it around and make just a big loop going any direction you want. Okay. Now I'm going to do a, a, 
ladybug going sideways now. So I'm going to draw a line here and I'm going to do the upside down half circle. And in front of that, I'm going to do a little half circle upside down. Okay. And then instead of the V, I'm going to do a line here. I'm going to curve it a little bit at the top and put a dot. And then I'm going to do a line somewhere beside it about the same length, doesn't have to be perfect. Curve it and put a little dot. And then I'm just going to put some, some, give him some dots on his back. And then this time I'm going to make his trail coming straight across. This little guy's just walking straight across. Okay. Now the third one we're going to do is a flying one. So I'm going to still start with my oval or circle, however you want to do it. And instead of, um, instead of drawing his wings down like this, I'm going to start from the top up here and I'm going to draw it up and out. So just a little half arc, a little arc there and an arc on the top like that to make his little wing. And I'm going to start from here and do an arc down and an arc down. Okay. And I'm going to erase these little lines in the middle just so I don't get confused about what, what I'm coloring. And then I'm going to give him his little spots on his wings. Here his wings are down folded into his body, right? But that's where the spots are is there. Here his wings are going to be out and there's the spots. But we're going to do the same little kind of head, a little hyphen with an upside down U or half circle. And then the letter V or you can curve them like we did there little dots at the end for that. And then his, his little trail, I'm going to make him zigzagging all around here. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go over them with my ink pen. I'm using a Sharpie pen. You can use any kind of ink that's permanent ink. The reason you want permanent ink is because if you use like a regular ballpoint pen, something like that, if you add watercolor to it, it'll smear and smudge and it won't look nice at all. So I'm just going to go over what we already drew. I'm going to draw the oval here. And you'll notice I'm not tracing the lines. They, they might not show cover those pencil lines completely, but it doesn't matter because we're going to be erasing the pencil lines. The pencils are just a guide to get us what we wanted. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to do that line down the middle and curve to the left and down the middle and curve to the right. And then I'm going to give him his little spots and my color in with my, with my black ink this time. And if you don't like where you put your spots, you can just put them anywhere you want because we're going to erase those pencil lines in a minute. And then I'm going to color in this bottom section so it's all black here. This little section down here depending on how narrow your pen is, that might take a little bit of time, so. And then I'm going to color in his head, this little uh, half circle up here that we did, I'm going to color that in, and I'm going to write over the letter V and put my dots at the end. And then on his trail, I'm just going to do a little line, a space and a line, space and a line, all the way around here to make his trail space and a line, little lines. When we erase that pencil line, it's going to show you then what his trail he's leaving behind him as he's crawling along. I don't know why I keep calling them hymns if they're all ladybugs. I guess there have to be boy ladybugs, but I don't know. And then I'm going to color this guy in. I'm going to color his this is his head. Remember up here we made his head solid black. So this one I'm going to make, I'm going to color that one in. And then this one I'm going to outline it with my black pen. And then color in his little circles, his spots. And I'm going to color in, just outline his little antennas. Okay, and his trail, same thing, is just going to be a little line and a space and a line and a space 
all the way and I'm just going to have him crawling straight across the floor here. Okay. And then up here on this guy, uh, now look what I did here. See, I made his wings kind of skinny. I want to make them bigger. So I'm still going to start where I was there and I'm just going to make that a bigger arc. See how it is? You can change the shape when you get ready to do it in the ink. And the what we did in pencil, that was just guides so that we can kind of see where we wanted to put things. And this one, I'm going to make just a little bit bigger and put his spots, color his spots in. Color in his head like we did the others. And trace his antennas. Now his body I made kind of big and that's going to take a long time, but I'm going to color this in with my black pen. All right, and then the same thing with just a little line, a space, and a line, and a space going all across this little trail behind him. He's just buzzing through the air, zigzagging in and out. So you can see, you can turn your page around if you need to get to a certain angle, it's fine. And it doesn't have to be exact, it doesn't have to be fancy, this is just for fun. And if you're doing it on the egg, you know, you're going to see, you're going to go all different directions. Wherever your little lines go, they might crisscross kind of funny. Um, all right. Then when I'm all done with my ink, I'm going to go back and I'm going to erase all the pencil marks. And you can see that I just have my ladybug left. All right. Erase that little trail. Now, if you're going to draw on your egg in pencil first and then erase after you've done it in ink, you'd have to erase very gently and it's going to take a little longer to erase because you don't want to crack that egg. And that might be a good thing, you know, for the kids to draw on it, but you do the erasing. Um, or they can free form, they can free draw anything they want. This is just an example of something to draw in case you haven't drawn ladybugs before. It gives you an idea of how how to draw some ladybugs. Okay. And then when I'm done with that, I'm just using my um, watercolors, and they don't have to be fancy watercolors, any watercolor you have on hand. Or, like I said, you could use your um, highlighter pens or crayons, whatever kind of markers you have available. And I'm just going to splotch in some red here. And there's three different kinds of ladybugs. So I hope you have fun with that. I hope you'll give the Easter eggs a try, the ones that you don't have to hard boil um, or uh, that uh, you don't need any dyes for. And remember, if you don't, if you want to um, decorate your eggs without taking them out, you can decorate a raw egg and Sharpies and watercolor do not go through the shell. So it doesn't affect it. it it's, uh, it's completely edible because the Sharpie doesn't penetrate the shell. So you could just decorate a regular old egg and then when you're ready to use it to cook with, crack it open and, and use your egg that way. I hope you have a great time. I will try to get some more videos out this week on different kinds of things you could draw on Easter eggs. And uh, stay well, everybody stay healthy, thanks. Bye-bye.